So I'm gonna throw Mario at this target and watch what happens to the hand. There we go. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Evan, and we are back with another LEGO. We have Bowser's Airship. I just built the LEGO Sonic sets. I kind of want to get a collection of just video game LEGOs. So I thought Mario would be a good place to continue. I've actually never built a Mario LEGO set. My dad did. I did build the NES, but not one of these. I have some words to say about this big Mario and my thoughts on it. I know you can play some game with it, but I really just like the look of the airship. A lot of these Mario LEGO sets don't really look like just normal LEGO sets, because that's not a Mario minifigure. That's what I would have preferred. But I like this one because it actually looks like a Lego model. So it's for ages eight and up, set 71391, and it has 1,152 pieces. Almost the same as the Sonic set. The minifigures it comes with are a Goomba. Look, this, that's a good, that's a good figure. Like, I don't know how else you're supposed to do a Goomba. The Kamek one, I feel like they could have made like a little smaller like a minifigure. Rocky Wrench. That one's good too. I don't know how else you would have done that. So, here's the back. As you can see, there's a lot of like play elements that we'll kind of figure out how those work. But yeah, it looks cool. I like the cannons, it has a lot of detail. This is an expansion set, so I guess you need the starter set to play this. I don't see myself playing the Mario Lego game at all, but you know, the stuff on the back, I'm, I don't know what any of this means. It looks like there's like a POW thing. It shows that his hat can come off magically. Yeah, look at that. Mario looks pretty happy. Let's open this up and see what we got. Bag four, bag six, bag two, bag 12, bag seven, random pieces, bag eight, bag 11, bag five, bag nine, bag 13, bag three. It comes with these ones, just straight out the bat. Bag one, this is the smallest bag I've ever seen. And bag 10. No instruction booklet. Oh. What? Oh, what? No stickers, and it looks like we need a device for the instructions, which we'll use an iPad. Let's build this thing. completed Bowser's airship first. I'm gonna start off by showing you all like the little things like the cannon and the little figures. And then I'll move on to the ship's appearance itself and finally get on to the play features that require this guy right here. Um, he looks kind of, he looks kind of scary with uh, no eyes. I have no experience with this thing, but you can interact with him with this whole set. I'll start off with these guys. All right, so first we have a Kamek. This one's probably my favorite because I don't know, I like the character. It's pretty cool, he's got his like, it's pretty cool, he's got his like staff. I like how they did his cheeks and then his little beak. There's printed pieces for his eyes and his mouth. And he's got his glasses just by these two little studs, his wizard hat. And I really like these like custom little shoe pieces, they're pretty funny. And yeah, he comes with his brew stick, which is interactable. You can just put him on that. And this goes directly on the ship. So once we open it up, I'll put him on the ship where he goes. You can hinge his hat back and forth too, which is pretty funny. Uh, it looks kind of weird all the way back. Looks like he's missing a part of his skull. Next, we got the Goomba. So this is the Goomba with the Bowser pirate looking hat. The hat's pretty cool how it just comes off like this. Like it doesn't stick on, but you can kind of just put it on. And underneath there is a little play feature. So we'll take it off and have Mario beat up the Goomba. His face is just printed on like that. Classic Goomba face. And his little feet pieces are, it's like he's moving, which is pretty cool. Next, we have Rocky Wrench. This guy, it looks pretty cool. I guess these are just the little guys that pop out and throw wrenches at you. I like how he's, I think it's supposed to be like he's holding a wrench in one of his hands. I always thought this guy's name was Monty Mole. I guess it's a different one, maybe it's cousin. I mean, he's got the little thing that he pops out of the ground on, on his head. Oh, and his little play feature is on the back. And finally, we have the cannon, which if you know, I'm pretty sure this is what it's supposed to be. I can blast you off to the airship in the levels. Because in all the levels where you go to the airship, you usually like blast off. So I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be this. And there's a little barcode right there. So we'll see what that does. Might make a little launching noise. On to the ship itself. Before we get to the play features, I want to start, start with the front. I love this Bowser head they did. There's actually another one on the back. But it's really cool how they just use these like minimalistic kind of pieces to make his face. 
So that was pretty fun to build. It has a little mast part in the front. It has the crow's nest with the propellers. On the sides here, we have the cannons and they actually have the Bowser logo on the little flaps above, which is cool. And there is a power block, which you can interact with. Here on the side, I really like this red and these lanterns. These lanterns are cool. They look straight out of Mario. And the whole back of this kind of reminds me of building the Sea Cow back in the day. A lot smaller though. And on the back, we have another mini Bowser head, but this one's interactable. You can go beat this one up. I don't know if it's actually supposed to be Bowser sticking his head out the back or not, but he's there. So yeah, pretty cool. Got little propellers down there more lanterns and this side is just the same as the other now the coolest thing about this is how it opens up before you open it up though you gotta take off these side pieces put them out to the side now watch this this is very clean look at that that's pretty cool so yeah it opens up just like that there's a whole play feature in the middle here i like when you open this thing up all the pieces are well supported so right now i'm just adjusting the hand so you can see it better Oh yeah, I got a giant Bowser claw right there. On this side, there's a target, which is part of the play feature. And right here, there's a stand for my wizard. There's a little stand right here for my, oh my God. And here, Cam, it goes. There he goes. So I'll show you guys that little play feature in a sec. But first, let's get onto the play features for the smaller enemies. So here's Mario. Let's first see what happens when we put it in the cannon. Did he do something? Oh, so it makes a little cannon noise. That's cool. What if I take him out? Here we go! Oh, that's cool. It has the cannon explosion. Oh, and then it has the theme. Now it has the airship theme playing. That's really cool. I don't know how long it stays. I really like that. So now let's take his hat off the Goomba, and this is what happens when you stomp on the Goomba. Classic Goomba sound effect. Did he die? Maybe he doesn't die. I think he just supposed to do it once and do it like how it is in the game, but that's pretty cool. And finally, for this guy, we gotta hit him in the butt. Oh, there we go. Oh no, I only have 13 more seconds to win. How am I supposed to win? Let's see what happens if Mario dies. Just beat this guy up in our final moment. Oh, look at that. Uh -oh, oh, no, Mario. Oh, I died. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> How did I die? I wasn't even playing. Now let's bring him on. He can go face the wrath of the ship. First, you got to knock off Mr. Kamek. So let's do that. There we go. He's dead. If you actually hit the thing directly, you can just beat him up like normal. There we go. He's gone. So now, let's put Mario on the broomstick. There you go, you just got some coins. So what you gotta do is you gotta hit the target. Hard. <laughs> it doesn't really work though, because Mario is so big. You can just put Mario on here. I'm just gonna fling it and hit this target, and you guys can see what happens to the hand. So I'm gonna throw Mario at this target, and watch what happens to the hand. There you go. Blowing Mario there, and then the hand comes off, and then you gotta finish off the hand by just jumping on it. There we go. So yeah, pretty cool feature. Then here we have this pow block. Here you can put the Goomba in, and basically hit the pow block and throw the Goomba out. Just like that. There we go. And makes the sound effect too, which is cool. And then if you want Mario to direct the ship, you can put him back there. And I actually like how it brings the steering wheel up. But yeah, he has this Mario Bros. 3 music playing, which is cool. And then for our final feature, we have Bowser's head in the back. Once again, I don't know if this is just decoration or it is actually Bowser, but for the final boss, you just gotta hit him on the head a bunch. I think what have been cooler is if they had it kind of more like the power block for some of these, um, or, or the hand, where if you actually defeat something, it actually kind of does something and it makes sense. It doesn't just not break. You have to use your imagination. So, good night, Mario. See you later. That is terrifying. But yeah, you just fold it up just like that. It also came with some extra pieces like these. That's if you want to take stuff like this and this out, you can kind of just lay it out more like a typical Mario level. But obviously it looks cooler in here because without it being in here, the ship looks really incomplete. Overall, this is a really cool set because you can actually display this and they hit all the play features pretty well. It doesn't look like just like a little play set because I saw some of the other Mario sets and they looked very like, visible. This just looks like a solid set. If you remove like 
just the little barcodes that look normal. There are some gaps in the front, so I wouldn't try to float this thing, but I don't know. <laughs> Throw it in a pool if you want. Three, two, one. Personally, I think this ship looks a little better than the, just a little better than the Titanic my dad built. But if you want to watch that video, go ahead and watch it. But yeah, there we go. Bowser's Airship Lego set. If you have any other like video game Legos or just Legos in general that you want to see me build, let me know. Merch is on the way. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> sort of works. Hey, that's pretty good. Fidget spinner. Lego Mario time.